So in this video, I'm gonna give you some advice on communication with a partner or a specific person. And if you avoid these three mistakes in communication, then you'll have much less problems and your relationship will be a lot more connected. Okay, so we've all done these things. So let's say your specific person or your partner has said something that's annoyed you, maybe they can't meet up anymore, or maybe they just did something a bit annoying or whatever it is that's triggered you and upset you. There are three ways that you can respond and you don't wanna do any of these. <laughs> so, so there's more ways that you can respond, but don't do it in these three ways. So the first way is the silent treatment, right? If you respond by saying, okay, fine, right, any of that, <laughs> it's it's not very clear, is it? And it's also very clear that something's wrong, but you're not communicating it effectively. So you have a feeling there that needs to be expressed. And I assume that if you're saying, K, okay, fine, whatever, then either you have a belief that they won't respond in a kind loving way to your emotions or that you actually think based on your own experience from the past that that's how it is in all relationships so the silent treatment doesn't work it creates disconnection and you can't get love from there so you need to be a little more communicative in expressing what you're feeling and what you mean okay go with kindness appear with love and that will give you what you want. And I know sometimes when you're angry and you're annoyed, it can be really difficult to do that, but avoid the silent treatment. The other thing that you don't wanna do is passive aggress aggressive, right? We don't wanna be passive aggressive, like, wow, okay, fine. You know, like <laughs> some sarcastic um, comments that are supposedly funny, but they're not funny. Um, any kind of passive aggressive comments like let me th try and think of an, of an example passive aggressive can be like right all right for you then or um okay i guess we'll just never see each other again then anything that's kind of like sarcastic you know it really isn't what you mean when you say it it's just a jab basically to kind to kind of get a reaction out of them again you're trying to control them you're trying to control their response and it doesn't work okay so try not to be passive aggressive it can be really tempting to do at times when you want to get a reaction and you want them to to understand that you're feeling uncomfortable and you're hurt essentially if you're trying to be passive aggressive you're hurt by something and that's what needs to be expressed you know so you can say that rather than go around it to try and get them to get it out of you you know because they might they might feel uncomfortable or they might feel confused by your response and that's not going to make them feel safe to ask you the right questions about how you feel so avoid passive aggressive comments okay so the other thing that you don't want to do is send the long essay of all of your feelings about why this has hurt you you don't don't just don't make an essay don't write an essay just keep it short and to the point okay the more direct we are the clearer the communication and if you're struggling to be able to kind of keep it short that's fine. Write the essay if you want to, but don't send it because that probably won't get you the response that you need. And the more we, we tend to invest in long text messages, the more disappointed we are when someone doesn't match us there and they don't have to match us there because they might have a different type of communication style and that's fine. So the more that you can just be really clear and to the point about how you're feeling about something, the better and the more effective uh, that communication, especially like people, you know, if you're asking something of someone, you're wanting a need to be met. Like if you put loads of sort of waffle around it, then the, the request gets lost in that. And actually people really appreciate just, this is what I want. You know, this is, this is what I'm feeling. And can we talk about it? It would be really great if we could have a conversation about this. Just be direct. As a rule, with communication with a specific person or a partner or whatever, try to resolve the trigger before you respond, okay? Because 
you might not necessarily resolve it completely because you might want to have that com- that um conversation to help you feel complete in it but um if you can first of all not make it mean anything about you and not make it mean anything about anything then you'll be coming from a more regulated place and sometimes we respond in instinct in anger and that is our survival um message basically you're you're sending a, a message from the survival state rather than from who you really are and who you really are is love so where, wherever you're not coming from love is not coming from you right and you want to be this person to be in a relationship with you not your survival state although you know your survival state is part of you so it's not to disregard that but it's being able to express it in a clear way even if you're angry it's not to say that it's not and what i'm not saying is don't be angry because sometimes someone's really annoyed you and they and you want to express that and you want to communicate it but if you do it with a silent treatment passive aggressive or a really really long message then it'll get lost what your message your authentic truth is going to get lost so I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like any more information about anything I do, you can find information on my website, send me an email, direct message. I'd love to help you with whatever relationship thing is happening right now, whether that's with a specific person or a partner, and you're wanting to grow, evolve, you're wanting the relationship to transform. That's what I do. That's what I'm really good at. That's what I've been through myself and still on that journey now. So any more information about any of any of that, then let me know and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.